Now in this first week of Battlefield 4, we are of course back into the ranking race where people rank up as fast as possible and try their very best to unlock all weapons and attachments as quickly as they can. Um, I was quite surprised this week to see so many people proclaiming the M416 as the next fantastic, amazing, it's the only gun, how many different loadouts can you find to find the best gun for this gun? I'm kind of surprised that people are proclaiming this weapon already considering the fact that most people I see online are barely past like rank 20 so there's actually a lot of guns that people haven't unlocked yet how can you claim a gun to be the best gun for a class when you still haven't unlocked all the others don't know I've seen tons and tons of videos going it's the best uh, I don't know Anyway, but this brings me on to the ranking deal, and uh, whenever Battlefield comes out, I say whenever Battlefield comes out, it doesn't happen very often, but when it comes out, when a new game comes out at all, and especially with FPS, I often sort of, I think a little bit about what I want to rank first. Uh, does it want to be the vehicles? Does it want to be uh, specific classes, specific kits? And sniping, for example, is one that I often feel, you know, is, I tend to rank first, because sniping... Uh, it's one of those ones that can be, it can take a little bit longer because you generally don't get as many kills as you would do with other classes. It can often be a little bit more tricky. You know, from game to game, you may have a different experience. If you're running Assault Engineer, you're usually in the mix in the front line. So you generally have quite a consistent game from game to game. But if you're sniping, you may have a quiet game, you may have a bad game, you may have an amazing game. It tends to vary a little bit more. People are going to be like, that's only if you're an amazing sniper. Yes, if you're an amazing sniper, I'm sure you get 50 0 every round. I'm sure that's how it goes down for you so you know double thumbs up for you if that's how it's going for you um, but for me especially you know with sniping and stuff it's it can take a bit longer and um, it's a really useful class to have uh, in your sort of you know fully unlocked status and the sniper class is a very versatile useful one especially now that with, with the way that they've unlocked it so it's just worthwhile unlocking all those things get it out of the way and then you can focus on the easy ranking classes like assault engineer eh, kind of support I mean you know people walk into your crosshairs and you cut them down it's, it's a good class as well so with the uh, sniper class we were looking well we weren't sort of thinking particularly about it but I was sort of looking at games this week you know uh, what should we do what should we try out and we were just trying out all the different game modes different things and people always say to me like oh Luton you never play hardcore the reason I don't play hardcore is because it pisses me off most of the time uh, I like to play objective game modes like conquest and rush rush on hardcore <sighs> unless they give a reasonable ticket amount at most games of rush hardcore that I see are all like normal ticket count, which is weird, isn't it? Because most of the core game modes people love to play with like these crazy ticket counts, yet hardcore, I always see it like 100%, which is stupid because it makes it impossible. Um, anyway, we joined on a few hardcore rush uh, servers, not my choice. And um, yeah, it sucked balls. Uh, it was very irritating. Uh, you're trying to move up, trying to move up, trying to move up, and as soon as you get anywhere near the MCOMs, there's like three snipers trained on you, and you're like, <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. And you can't get anything done so we kind of were like oh screw this okay it's just irritating there's no point it's just you know frustrating sometimes you get lucky okay don't get me wrong okay depending on game to game but if you have a certain style of gameplay which I tend to find is the majority is just snipers locking down you know bottleneck positions on hardcore that's how it generally goes on rush because it's usually a kind of quite tunnel vision map you know but um, so we went on to TDM and Domination and uh, T TDM and Domination on Hardcore is actually awesome fun. It's really twitchy and really, you know, you've got to have the reflexes. If you miss that opportunity to get on target, you're down, you're down, you're down, you're down. It's really fast, furious and you've got to get on target. It's so important. If you miss that shot, you're dead. And sniping is really fantastically exciting with it because it's obviously a one-hit kill and it's really, really great. Um, now, if I, I've got to diffuse something else here, which I know is going to happen always. People are like, oh, it's not really proper sniping because it's one-hit kill. Yes, 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 yes. I know that like in normal core mode, it's more difficult because you have to get that chest headshot, yeah? Okay, you don't need to tell me this because i played Battlefield for a long time, okay? And it's like, yeah, it's true. The thing is, what we're doing with the hardcore ranking and stuff, it's not about like that. It's about just, you know, having fun and ranking that class, unlocking the stuff. And then after that, you go back to the standard game mode, which is what I will do, and then play from there on out. Having said that, because I haven't done this for a long time, I actually found that I really, really enjoy sniping in hardcore. The reason being, everybody else is doing it as well. So it basically becomes this ultra twitchy sniper battle where like every single person is trying to get on each other. And it's like if you turn a corner and you, uh, you know, you're not ready for it, 
you're down. You, you know, you pop your head up, you're down. So it's it's actually really good because a lot of the people in there are all kind of playing at the same kind of skill level. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of really skilled people, not always, but sometimes there's some really good people in there. Um, and uh, yeah, we found it was really enjoyable. I, I found it quite addicting, to be honest. Um, I mean, yes, for sure, okay, don't get me wrong, you know, you're not an idiot, okay, it's it's not as difficult sniping as it would be in the normal core mode, but on the other hand, you, you know, you can afford, in the normal core mode, you can afford to take a little bit of a fire return from an assault player or something like that, um, in the uh, hardcore mode, you can't, two, three rounds, you're down, so you have to make that shot count, if you miss, you're screwed. Um, on core mode, if you miss and you're sniping, it's not the end of the world. You can usually chain up to your pistol if you're fast enough and drop them. Hardcore, you will not get that chance. You'll be down on the floor. So it really, that first shot counts. You have to hit first time, every time. Um, and just for that sake, I love the twitchiness of it. I also like the tension of it, you know? Uh, on some of the maps you play, uh, Flood Zone, for example, on uh, TDM or Domination, the tension in that map in hardcore is really intense because I say again people are moving around cover to cover cover to cover and you're never sure who's going to come around that corner it's really intense I love it actually I really love it it's quite addicting I think it's, I'm going to play it more regularly probably going to play it more anyway um, and I think as I unlock other classes as well those kind of game modes are going to be really enjoyable because you know for example you slap some suppressors on there you go full stealth really really enjoyable so that's that's for me some of you guys might find this kind of surprising actually because obviously I'm such an objective player generally uh, I love playing the objective I love for example running transport helis and just going you know if you run transport helis you usually end up with a negative KD because you don't end up really getting any kills for the whole time if you're piloting so uh, you end up kind of fair and you get no points either it's, uh, several people this week pointed out to me about that they're like they really should change this for the transport heli I agree but how I don't know but um, anyway regardless I've really enjoyed as I say hardcore for that and it's it's a great way to rank up your sniper class because you'll get many more kills than you would if you're trying to do it in core mode. So if you want to bust up that sniper class as quickly as you possibly can, get in hardcore TDM or domination and just wreck those guys up. Also, often with the sniper rifles, the starting scopes tend to be a little bit long for the kind of engagements you'll be having. So take that off and just go with the iron sights. Go for the iron sights, it's often really good. Uh, for example, the iron sights on the SV-98, really, really nice totally workable unless you're firing at those kind of long long ranges so guys hope you enjoyed try it out let me know what you think what have you been doing with ranking unlocking how are you playing it out do you care are you just playing the game or have you got a little strategy let me know in the comments below thanks for watching guys see you next time more battlefield 4